cleaning. It was a disaster in here. Really? Can I check it out? Sure. Still kind of is, eh? A little bit. Looks nice, though. Looks organized. Thanks. Hey, Chloe. Hey, sweet girl. Do you want to come up to the gym with me? It's or no? You want to come, honey girl? What is going on you guys? It's your boy. Today we have front squats and front squats is some, some, I am not good at front squats nor do I love them so much. So I'm trying to kind of get over that, especially as I'm learning how to Olympic weightlift because it's obviously a very important aspect of the sport. Um, so that's what we got today. I think I'm working out to some heavy doubles and then I'll take you guys through a leg day as well. Also, we kind of did a bit, I'll show you. We did a bit of, uh, remodeling in the gym because of this beautiful little lady that we have added. It's a hamstring curl and uh, leg extension machine. I'll show you guys how that works. I'm going to be using that today as well, but I'm so excited about it. It is a beautiful day. I will never get over this view. Basically, my entire lifting career, I have had a more like powerlifting, strongman approach to training. And I have been squatting low bar rather than high bar. And one of the differences between low bar and high bar is that with low bar, your hips kind of go back. And then with high bar, your hips come down. But I've just been, I've been really struggling with high bar because my hips really want to go back. Uh, and so today, I'm specifically trying to focus on my, my bar path with front squats. And I'm... All this to say, the weights today are not gonna be crazy impressive, but it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> So I want to do a quick voiceover for my leg day today. My main goal for today was just to kind of hammer in the proper technique for front squats. Like I said, I've been really struggling with that just because my body is so used to doing low bar back squats that my hips always want to go back and my knees don't necessarily want to track forward as much as they should with high bar squats or front squats. So today, the main thing that I'm focusing on is letting those knees or not letting, making those knees track forward more over my toes, keeping my core really engaged and my chest lifted. As you can see, the more weight that I add, it definitely becomes a little bit more apparent where I'm struggling with this. And so you'll see, you know, especially with my top sets, my hips popping up a little bit Good. too early. I think that this was the last set that I filmed for my front squats and then we move on to dumbbell RDLs and I love RDLs. It's I think my favorite lower body exercise, like if I had to choose one lower body movement to do for the rest of my life, it would be RDLs. Any variation, barbell, dumbbell, single leg, I don't care. I love it. My main piece of advice with RDLs is to make sure that you're really focusing on pushing your hips back. So you're hinging your hips back and as a result your chest comes forward as soon as you're no longer pushing your hips back you're going to just start bending forward and that is where you do not want to go so wherever your hips stop being able to go back that's the end of your range of motion for most people that's like just below the knee maybe mid shin ish um, but that's kind of what you want to look for
Then we get to move on to this fancy little machine that we just got. I don't love hamstring curls, so I think I'll probably mostly just be using this for leg extension, which I do love because the quad pump is amazing. I think I did three sets of 15 on this. I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure. And the pump was crazy. The last thing that I did was Bulgarian split squats, which I think is a difficult exercise pretty much no matter what weight you use. Also, we decided to build a kitchen island, which is something that we had been wanting to do for a while. It just wasn't really in the budget, but John came up with this really great design and then we didn't really use very expensive wood. So it turned out to be, I think like we spent $110 or something total, uh, which is not terrible. And once we moved the kitchen island into the kitchen, we moved what we previously had in that area, which was two chairs, a coffee table, and a little side table into our master bedroom, which, little update on the artwork that we have going on in here, I've only got uh, what, one and a half pieces left to do. And I think it looks really, really good in there. You can do it. You can do it, Chloe. Go. Come on, Chloe. You can do it. I promise you can. Ready, Chloe? Come on. Are you going to run? Run, run, run. Come on, jump, jump. Chloe, come on. You can do it. I promise you, you can. You got it. No, no, no. I just, I want her to do it. Ready, Chloe? Go. Quick. 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 Yay, Chloe. Nice jump, my girls. Are you guys ready to go? So originally we were planning on staining the top of the island a dark color, kind of a dark color that matches a lot of the other dark woods that we have in our house. But the more we were thinking about it, the more we kind of thought it would be nice if we could sort of match the stain for the top of the island to the light colored wood that we have on our dining room table. So I'm gonna see what I can find and um, we'll do like a little sample test. Uh, but I think it would be kind of nice to have a lighter feeling island in the middle of the kitchen anyway honestly it could go either way i would be happy either one so i mean worst case we just do the dark but we're at ace right now you say hi my pretty girls you say hi no 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 no. nobody's here nobody's here i need to stop doing that every time i say say hi she thinks that somebody is here and she needs to say hi to them but we're at ace and so i'm gonna run in see what they've got and hopefully we will have a finished island by the end of the day What do you think, pretty girl? Did I choose correctly? Yes or no? Clay, what do you, what do you? She says yes. Or do you say yes as well? Great. We have a consensus. You ready, my Clay? This is the dining room table, and this is the stain that I got. I actually think it's pretty freaking close. And it's not the same kind of wood anyway, so it's going to look a little bit different on the island, but it don't matter. I think it should be good. I think it should be good. So I just did a little sample piece with some of the scrap wood that we have. It looks very, it's very silver, but I have to wait 15 minutes and then wipe it off. So I think Aura needs a little bit of a play. Do you need some love, honey bunny? So I'm gonna go, ooh. Probably go out there, play for a little bit, and then come back and see how it looks.
actually think the stain worked really, really nicely. It is a little bit, well, I mean, actually, I think it's about the same amount of grayness that we have in the dining room. And then once I let the stain sit for, I think, 24 hours, we'll add a gloss layer on it as well. So hopefully that'll make it look even more like the dining room. But I am not mad about it. I, I think it actually looks really good. Um, also, John just whipped up a few benches. So I'm going to sand wood putty and stain and paint those as well. That's great. I'm just gonna do a little top coat real quick and then everything's done for the night. We can use it tomorrow. It looks exceptional. <laughs>